This is Jupiter Today for the 20th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 29 minutes, 36.5 seconds and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 47 minutes, 2.8 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun is 159.662 degrees, and that's 1.134 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, continues to get less and less, as we move towards opposition on the 6th of February. The phase angle today is 3.679 degrees and that's 0.196 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance also continues to get less and less. Today it's 657,183,179 kilometers and that's 823,755 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday, and that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 34,323.13 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,825.79 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 179.39 degrees, CM2, 329.91 degrees, CM3, 233.71 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant 2, heading west. Ganymede is in quadrant 3, heading west most of the day, and Callisto has just passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2 for the rest of the day, heading west. At 12 hours UTC, Io is firmly in quadrant 2, heading west. At 1800 hours, EO is transiting, maybe just past its transit, but now moving into quadrant 3 heading west. Europa is just about to begin its transit, it will be moving into quadrant 2 heading west as well, and by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO quadrant 2, same as Europa, Ganymede has reached its western elongation and is now in quadrant 4 heading east and there are eight Jupiter satellite events today all of them involving either EO or Europa at 1539 the shadow of EO is going to ingress at 1604 EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 1710, Europa's shadow ingresses. At 1756 UTC, EO's shadow egresses. At 1800 hours, Europa begins its transit of Jupiter. At 1821, the transit of EO ends. At 2005 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. And from 20 and at 2055 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. So between 1800 hours and 1821 hours, both of the moons will be visible on the disk of Jupiter. There are no mutual satellite events today. So we can move right on to 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. 
standing on the equator of Jupiter here, looking out, rotating with the planet. So over a 24 hour period, we'll go around a little more than twice. There's Eo and Europa. You can see that Eo's catching up to Europa and is actually going to have a little encounter and then pass Europa as the two moons transit Jupiter from Earth's point of view. It's always fun to watch those. I wish we were actually there to witness these events. Maybe someday. The red spot crosses the meridian of Jupiter three times today. First is at 3.32 second at 1328 and the third at 2324. There were some new images posted. First one from one of the Google Plus groups that I follow. The time of this exposure was 435 UTC and you can see that Eo and Europa are represented here as well as their shadows. The shadow of Eo is starting to go around the disk, the sphere of Jupiter, so it's starting to be distorted a little bit on the edge there. That's a really great shot. Some really interesting weather going on on Jupiter. And that's one of the things I'm interested in watching and keeping track of and seeing what happens and why. There were some additional new images posted. This one on the 18th of January. There was no new radio data and there were no new papers. The time of this recording is 1.28 UTC on the 20th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Very much enjoy hearing your comments and questions and suggestions. Thanks for subscribing to those of you who are. Make sure to tell everyone to tune in every day around this time. I try to put these out between zero hours and three hours UTC. Sometimes I'm a little bit late, but I think I've been fairly consistent getting in between those. I also like to keep this podcast to about 10 minutes. Sometimes it goes over. This one probably will a little bit. So you can send your images or comments and questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.